ready, Nathan? Hey, y'all. Dime Breed Barbecue, back in front of the grill today. If you're coming back, welcome back. If it's your first time here, hey, thanks for checking us out. Today we're gonna to be doing something that was a childhood favorite for me. These things are super delicious. They make for a great appetizer. Today we're gonna to be making pigs in a blanket. These things are super simple, always delicious. Let's get into making those. But if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, punch the like button, let's make some pigs in a blanket. All right, so like I said, this recipe is super simple. Not much goes into it. What we've got here is just some little smokies. Uh, these are the beef ones. Get whichever little smokies you want. You're just gonna need little smokies. And then we've got one can of crescent rolls here. I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can't scare myself by popping this open. Take your can of crescent rolls, get them opened up. And then we're gonna take and just unroll the dough here. And then we're just gonna take where it's perforated. We're just gonna go ahead and tear it just like you would if you were just making crescent rolls. Now then that you got your crescent rolls all peeled out there, it's pretty simple from here. We're just gonna take and cut three triangles out of it. So we're gonna take here, here. Just gonna do that with all of them. like that. Now that you've got your triangles cut out, what we're going to do is just take your little smokies, lay it in there, and just roll it up. Like I said, this isn't a hard recipe. Most people probably already know it and how to do it, but this is just a reminder that these things are delicious. Now then that we've got them all rolled up there, just gonna take our pans. Now I'm using silicone baking sheets. Um, you could just put them on a regular sheet if you wanted to. I just kinda like the silicone sheets. Pretty easy to clean up. They work good on my smoker. So we're just gonna go ahead and lay these on here. Kind of give a little bit of space in there because these crescent rolls are going to kind of swell up a little bit. So you don't want to crowd them on here. Just like that. And now then, you can come back with an egg wash here. I like butter on mine. Do whatever you like. Um, I'm just going to come back and we're gonna brush a little bit of butter on all these. Butter makes everything better, in my opinion. Now that we've got our butter all on there, I like to come back and hit them with just a little bit of seasoning. Now this is just uh, smoky salt and cracked black pepper. You could use whatever you want to. You could just put straight salt on them. I just think they need a little something to give them a little bit of flavor once they come off the grill. And this cracked black pepper and smoked salt really does that, so. Don't need a bunch, something like that. Now we've got them all prepped up. Like I said, that was quick. We're gonna be cooking these things 
on my Copperhead 5 today. Um, we're going to get the grill fired up. We're going to be cooking at 350 degrees. These things are not going to take long. 20 to 30 minutes, just until those crescent rolls gets brown. I'm going to get the grill fired up, and we're going to get these things thrown on there. All right, so the grill's cruising, 350 degrees. Let's go ahead and get these pigs in the blanket on there. All right, so they've been on there for about 15 minutes. You can see that we're getting some pretty good color on it. I think they like about another 10 minutes maybe, and these things are going to be ready to eat. All right, so here they are. They're done. Those things wound up going about 25 minutes. Like I said, these are super quick, super simple. Make for a great snack. You just set these out here on your little tray. Everybody can come up and just grab whatever they want. I'm telling you, this takes me back to whenever I was a kid because I used to absolutely love these things. So, these silicone pans, they work great. Nothing sticks to it. You don't have to oil it. You don't have to grease it. They're just perfect. We'll just get these off of here. Got a real good golden brown on these things. Uh, that butter really helps to do that. Let's get one off of here. You know I'm going to have to taste one. Get them all lined up there. Now I like to use mustard with them. You can use whatever dipping sauce you want to. Heck, you don't even need a dipping sauce. But I like this mango mustard here. So we're just going to take a dip. See how we did. That pepper and salt is great. Throwing that mustard in the mix makes them awesome. Hey, if you like what you see here, I got an Instagram page at Dime Breed Barbecue. I also got a Facebook page, Dime Breed Barbecue. We just cooked up pigs in the blanket out there on the pit boss.